Chris Monahan. I'm the Director of Sponsored Projects and Research Compliance at Providence College. I'm also an Incur peer reviewer. I'm here to talk to with you today about a question that many predominantly undergraduate institutions or PUIs ask about, and that's about organizational models that are effective at small institutions. There are a number of organizational models. Let's talk about those. There's a single organizational model where both pre and post award are in a single office. In some institutions, that single office may be in academic affairs. In other institutions, that single office where pre and post is combined may be in a uh, division of finance and business or finance and administration. And still another place where you might um, see a single operation, uh, particularly in a growing or small, very small institution, is in institutional advancement, development, or also known uh, corporate foundation relations, where you have both pre and post operating out of one of those uh, divisions. So that's the single model. Uh, increasingly what we're seeing is that more and more institutions have a hybrid approach or a hybrid model where pre-award is happening in one division of the college or university and post-award is happening in another. Some examples that you might see with this hybrid um, operation, I think probably the most prevalent that we've seen in predominantly undergraduate institutions is where pre-award is happening out of academic affairs and post-award is happening out of business and finance or finance and administration division. Um, very popular model, uh, popular in that the, on the academic side they have contacts with faculty and can speak with faculty and understand the academics in terms of the grant development. Um, and on the post-award side, that level of expertise exists in the business office and that level of authority. So it's a very popular model. But you can also see the hybrid model where uh, you have post-award in finance and business and pre-award in corporate and foundation relations or institutional advancement slash development in that division, handling mostly pre-award. Um, and even still, um, you may find a hybrid approach where both, um, all college grants, academic affairs, corporate and foundation relations, all are functioning as an office of college grants, either sitting in institutional advancement or sitting in academic affairs um, with finance and business. So with all these varieties of models, what works best? Well, of course, it depends, and it depends on a number of things. It depends on culture of the institution. It depends on expertise at the institution. Where does that expertise lies? And of course, history, um, where this institution, where they put authority and structures, um, it's, it's complicated in terms of where these things might sit. There's certainly no one best model. I've heard someone say, if you've seen one sponsored program's office, you've seen one sponsored program's office, and that's absolutely true. I think what's most important is that the model fits the institution, the context, the culture, the individuals, and the expertise. Um, so the key to a hybrid model, though, is when you have those split roles, is that there's a high degree of communication across those areas. And that's not just informal communication. Uh, we really like to see intentionality and some formal routine communications across those areas to build the relationships and bridges. Um, and we see when we have that intentionality, the hybrid model actually works really well uh, for small institutions and, and for large institutions alike. But that communication is, cl is key. So, if you're looking to establish a sponsored research office, re-establish a sponsored research office, or just aren't sure what you want to do in terms of your organizational structure, it's important to really do an internal assessment of where your strengths, your abilities, your expertise, your culture, where all of that lies, and also to look at the sponsored programs enterprise as a whole. There are lots of individuals who may not have sponsored research titles at your institutions that have expertise that can help support and drive and nurture the research support that you want to provide to your faculty. I hope you enjoyed this very quick update on 
organizational models at predominantly undergraduate institutions. Thank you.